after two days the motherboard is completely dry let's install CPU before we will try to use the heat gun actually to fix the GPU issue no video I will recommend just to install everything back to put those screws apply some new thermal compound maybe the system will power on because you in the new thermal compound will be applied and more pressure on screws if it's not gonna help we will do a reflow procedure on a GPU let's put the battery back which provides the power it's already unlocked install the CPU this way apply some new thermal compound and install the heat sink back on place and uh, here GPU don't require it because there is a GPU thermal pad just CPU tighten the screws and also as you noticed CPU GPU GPU have this thermal um, thermal tape or how it called like a sponge it was partially assembled on Still no video. You don't see nothing on screen. That's why I consider that maybe one of the RAM models could be faulty or CPU processor itself. Let's remove one model or both of them, replace them and let's check the CPU as well. If this not gonna help, this is completely GPU issue but it's not very very common for 80 graphics video chip that's why this is the last what I will be doing in order to fix this Toshiba laptop let's see I have a bunch of spares those are different RAM models which we can try to replace have also some spare CPUs as well let's give it a try before we will be reforming the GPU.